the uh, offsides, procedure penalties, lots of fumbles, hold, you know. So they work all that out uh, this week at practice, and they'll see a big improvement each team this year. Here's the opening week. return, and he'll get down to about the 44-yard line where the Warriors will begin. Big return. Stone will take the snap. He'll roll to his right. He's looking. He's going to throw. And this one is caught. Waverly will move the chains. Right. Stone will take the snap. Here's a handoff to the left side. He's got a lot of room. Gets around to the outside and down to the 26. Just uh, uh, Jackson lost containment there. Excellent job by the wide receiver, Jace Harris, on the sideline, getting a good downfield block to free that and get the Minuteman first down for the Waverly Warriors. Uh, great. Vikings showing pressure, Stone will throw. This one is caught, and he shakes off the defender, down to the 10, first down. They bring pressure, but great job there by that offensive line to get the stop and not allow them to get to the quarterback. Stone great in the for... shotgun, a man in motion to the right. On third down, he's going to throw to the left again. It's caught, a slant in the end zone, touchdown Warriors. That pass was to number five, Jace Harris again. Nice little slant route right into the end zone, and they score from... 10 yards out. Great uh, first opening drive here for Waverly as a uh, good job at points by the Jackson Vikings, but they certainly gave up uh, an opening drive touchdown uh, for this Jackson Viking offense. Young, inexperienced, but uh, Coach Antonio Parker really likes the way they play. There's the throw from Stamper. It's kind of like a little flip. It's kind of underhand. Four minutes to play. It's going to be a quarterback keeper. There's Stone. Well, he's got a lot of room down to the 25. Oh, he gets pushed hard out of bounds, yeah. and flags come flying in. Late play, can't have that. They're going to get an extra 15 yards there, and it was just a play that didn't have to happen. You have the defensive end who collapsed on the running back, which I understand why, because you've seen uh, how well uh, Caden Bell's run the ball all game. Exactly. But the uh, line of scrimmage will crash the line. There's Stone. He's going to throw. It's intercepted. Oh down the sideline. That's going to be Charles Johnson. That's going to be Jaden Potter. Wow. And Potter with the return. Pick six for the Vikings. Jaden Potter just jumps that route. Time to be seven yards. Eventually eight yards. We're going to call that. Takes that interception to the house for the first score of the ball game here for the Vikings. Huge play for this Viking defense. Right back in the game. Huge confidence booster. Unbelievable. Stamper going to keep it. Right he'll go up the middle, and he gets it. Why not? It is 8 to 6 after that 98 yard interception return for a touchdown. On third and 18, 12 seconds to play. Stone is going to throw. This one is low, it's caught, and he'll be marked down. That's going to bring up fourth and long. It's essentially determining what, where that play is going to go. On third and two, another keeper, and he's wow. spinning off everybody down to the 27, and they move the chains. That will be a Minuteman sewer and drain first down for the Stamper, the first for the Vikings. Excellent work there by Stamper. That offensive line for uh, Jackson getting a great push in our second quarter. Stamper going to fake the handoff. He throws. Oh, it's caught boy. by Pippen. Oh. He cuts back inside. Touchdown, Vikings. 24-yard touchdown pass there. Stamper to Pippen. Excellent job there by the Vikings. The entire Waverly defense crashed on the run. They expected the run. We do have a flag on the play. Hopefully this will stand for the Vikings because that was a beautiful 24-yard completion. Pippen with the finish. Thank you to uh, consumers. On the two-point try, a low snap. This one's to Pippen, and that's not going to get there, so it'll remain 14 to 6. Great job by that defensive backfield for the Vikings. Here we go. Third and 13. Quarterback's going to have to keep it himself. Oh, oh and he gets hit hard going down, and yep. there comes the flag. Yep. That's a targeting. He went right in with his helmet while he was going down. Let's see if they show it again here. Uh, well, they've changed. Yeah. You can't even, you can't even uh, tackle with your head anymore. Like that, that was my main weapon. There's a in our first half. Hand off again to Bell. He stays up on his feet and moves the chains. First down. Here we go, Stone. It's going to be a screen to the pressure oh, coming, yeah. and he gets off the defender, and he's down the sideline and down to the 22. That was a great. 
again. Oh my goodness. And that play so not going good. anywhere. Great defense. 21. Pippen. Just <laughs> That's not actually visible. <laughs> They're stoned and he gets oh, sacked. Pippen is Pippen on defense. Two plays in a row. Pippen gets a tackle for loss. Now he backs up for the sack. On a third down and 29, a long play. Oh, pressure my. coming, and he gets Pippen. sacked again. Blair Pippen having a completely killer drive here on defense. Pippen will tackle for loss, two sacks. That one huge there. It was a push them back beyond the 40-yard line. What an absolute tremendous couple of plays here for Blair Pippen. Thank you to uh, Lester Brothers. Stamper. On a quarterback keeper to the left side, oh, and we'll get out right around midfield oh, as he jumps like into the golf cart. Oh, I'll land in the golf cart. Nice job. Luckily, he didn't get hurt there. Great block on the left-hand side of that offensive line. So here we go with Stamper on third and one. Yep. Again, he's going to keep it, and it'll move the chains for a minute man first down. Oscar Schaub as the sophomore, number 77, starts at the right guard position. I had a pick six and another score to make it 14 to six. Stamper, he's going to try to get rid of it. Oh, he keeps wow. up on his feet. Stamper's still alive, That's and he's going to go down the sideline. Out of bounds at the 22. That's just a big play. That's athleticism. You would like to see him put that ball away oh, a little absolutely. bit more. It was hanging out there. Wrong side. With contact. Yeah, but uh, I'll tell you what. Great athleticism. Just uh, ability to avoid tackles, find space, and create big plays for that Jackson offense. Two. Stamper, he's going to throw oh, to his left, right up in, touchdown, Charles Johnson making a play on offense. 21-yard touchdown pass, which caps off a 55-yard drive there. Great job by Johnson to get all alone in the uh, end zone. And they've been in scoring position twice, and they've walked away with Look at that. both times. A big hole there for Bell, and he'll move the chains. Great running back. Again, I'm looking at all conference in the CAAC last year. Down to two. Oh, Stone, the ball's on the ground. Jackson says they have it. Yep, they and do. And they do. That'll go left the second turnover in this ball game. Jackson has been able to force. I'd, I'd throw a flag on that. Unnecessary. Slows the game down. Here it comes. So here we go. He's on got a room. Off He's got room. Side. Great block. Blair Pippen cuts back inside. Pippen down to the 30. Wow. You talked about it, Dan. Great blocking. We saw 77 Oscar uh, Chavez coming out to block. What you saw, we talked about this at halftime. Great downfield blocking by the wide receivers. This time it was Jaden Potter, number one. You have to. That's how yeah. big runs happen. It is. Look at that one. Stamper on a quarterback keeper. All the way down inside the 20. Another Stamper. Look at that it's going to be a handoff. Oh He's got open oh. room. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, Bryce Mastelli. That's a 19-yard touchdown. Three plays as they uh, do an excellent job there. And Mastelli gets into the end zone for a 19-yard touchdown run. His first of the ball game. They just want space. Huh? They're going to go for two here. Stamper. Trying to get around, and oh, he will right. get. Oh no! He They're gonna it. say no. He didn't get it. See, that's where it's too bad. The umpire, who's you know right with the linebackers, he he, he can never bring his hands up. He's not allowed. Well, he can do it, but he won't be on that crew again. From last week's game at Lumen Christie presented by Pataki Orthodontics. There's a run from Bell, and Bell will get past midfield, and he'll move the chains for a Miniman first down. Seen anything like that, anything remotely like that, because the defensive backs have really been quite strong today for the Vikings. I think he got it. First down. Stops the clock. They will. Yeah. Minuteman sort of first down there. Scored a touchdown. And tied a shoe. Here we go. Look at that. Third. Kept him inside, Josh. See that? Great defense there by Jackson. And an excellent. On for the nine. Pressure right away. Stone oh, oh, picked oh. off by the defense. Viking down the sideline. That's Bryce the Stanley. And he's going to score on another pick six. 65 yard interception to Frank for a touchdown. Bryce the Stanley, the second defensive touchdown for the Vikings. His second touchdown of the game. This 
from a defensive standpoint, excellent job. 65 yards for number three, Bryce DeStally. Just does a great job reading that in the backfield. Here's the extra oh. point from Pippen. It's a fake. They're going to throw it, and it's caught. That's Charles Johnson making another play. How about that? They faked it pretty good. It's like he bobbled this. Well, it looked like a low snap. Yeah. He's going to come up and kick it. Snap was low and threw it to Johnson. So here we go. There's the handoff. Yeah, that was a stone. nice seam there. To Bell. Looks like the ball came out. Still recovered, though, from Bell. <laughs> what do you mean? There's a handoff again to Bell up the middle. And he is going to be close oh. to the first down marker. Waverly looking to score again here. Stone, pass up the middle, it's caught. Wow, what a charge. In the end zone, touchdown Warriors. 20 yard touchdown pass. Stone finds his teammate, uh, Cedric Jackson, who scored a touchdown last week. He was also an all conference player last year in the CAAC. He gets a touchdown here as you see Stone make a great pass. Best, best sledding hill in Grass Lake. Look at this. Here's a at this. carry from Cardair Sumner. Great Sumner wow. past midfield. Excellent job. Good work blocking. Clean jerseys in there. Again, here's the uh, carry on the left side. That's a new one. Out to the 40. That's going to be number 10, yep. Jaden Ramirez, the sophomore. Fourth down and four. Here's a handoff, and uh, nope. he is going to be short. Oh, get it. Ball will go to Waverly. And we'll see the Viking defense come back out on the field. It's going to be the difference. Here we go on second and one. That's going to move the chains. First down for Waverly. Oh, my God. What? They're going to call him down. Did, uh, I saw an interview. Same they, can look, oh, they can look on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, they're not changing their mind. And they are. <laughs> it is going to be Jackson. Wow. That one took a long time coming. Again, at the uh, end of last week at Monroe, there's a uh, handoff on the right side. And he will be down to the 10. At the end of last game versus Monroe, at the end of the third quarter, uh, second and six. And he's going to cut inside. Touchdown, Jackson. That is a uh, Kenyon Dunklin with that. It's a nine-yard, he called an eight-yard touchdown run to cap this off, make this a 40 to 12 ball game. Oh, no. And that ball is yeah. going to go behind, and it's going to be picked up by the Vikings. Oh. That is the fifth turnover that this defense has garnered. That is Charles Johnson, who has had a huge game defensively for the Vikings. Incredible job, and that should end this thing for the Vikings. Yeah, that would. So one more knee here. Is this is uh, Texas Longhorns? That's right. And yeah. that is going to do it. That's the final knee. Jackson High 41. They're going to move to 2-0 uh, and o for the first time since 2019. They started 3-0 and o that year. They get a non-conference win here, 41-12 against the Warriors from Lansing Waverly. What